let's look at the, the data. So with the psychometrics, Christian, off the charts, one of the areas that we look at is altruism. Mm. 100 percentile in altruism you scored. Talk to me about that altruistic side of yours. The altruism in terms of how much you value serving others. You've got a very philanthropic nature. Um, talk to me about that side of you. I think for me, giving has always been something that stemmed from that initial moment when my mother gave away yes. that toy. And, and I think that was an, an embedded value at that moment. And it was about, you know, giving to those that needed more. And over the years that developed into, you know, as I, as I amassed wealth and success in Christian 1.0, you know, I just used to give things away, you know, and I'll never forget my accountant one day rang me up and he said, listen, this year you've donated a quarter of a million dollars. Like, that's a lot of money to be giving away and you're not accounting for it. You're not leveraging it. And I just looked at him and I said, mate, have you ever looked at the people we're giving it to? Right? And, you know, it was the homeless. It was, it was you know, underprivileged youth, uh, women uh, who had endured domestic violence. I said, these, these are things that are important to me. And he goes, yeah, but Christian, you're running out of money. And I was like, right. And I guess the motto there is that I was giving without consciously giving. Yeah. And I think that there's a balance between those two things. And so, interestingly enough, when I lost, well, when I had to sell everything, I actually sold my house, my, everything except my car, and I actually was homeless. Mm. Um, I spent two weeks couch surfing, um, slept in the car a couple of times. When was this, Christian? This was end of 2009. Yeah. Early 2010. Um, you know, and to go from very difficult time. where I'd been to where I was, yeah. you know, and you know, the embarrassment that comes with that and all those things. But there was one thing that I never stopped doing even when I had no money. That was giving. You know, I'd go and cook at the local soup kitchen. And um, why? Because I think when you give, there is a really important part of your own DNA that functions and, 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 and allows you to to be true to who you want to be. And so, yeah, we, we've maintained a very um, philanthropic approach, but yeah. I've got to say that um, becoming a philanthropist opened so many doors. The moment I, I guess the moment I understood what I was doing and why I was doing it, and after I had gone through that loss of myself, you know, I doubled down, I became um, you know, an ambassador for youth opportunities, um, you know, where, you know, we used my so-called fame uh, to our advantage and, you know, I'd be auctioned off live at auctions. It's a very daunting <laughs> feeling, by the way. You know, where you've got all these other amazing philanthropists, chef. yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, throwing money at you to cook in their house for eight people and you're going for ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars and then, you know, me wanting to create a unique and wonderful experience for these yeah. people. And that's where those people got to see the real me behind the scenes, behind the curtain. Yeah. And I, did, some of my best friends and mentors are those people um, who stuck deep into their pockets to give. And so that gives you an inspiration to give. And, you know, and then, what was it, six years ago, five years ago, um, you know, one of my mentors, uh, Tony Keynes, um, OAM, came to me and said, I want to start a scholarship fund, General mm. Excellence Scholarship Fund at St. Peter's. Mm for uh, boys who can't afford to come to the school, but they have an athletics background and you know, we're all ex-aths. And I was like, count me in, Tony. He's like, you sure? Count me in. And so we commit to that three years every cycle. We've now got two, okay. another cycle and Aiden, who went through the program first, you know, he made us so proud. You know, he not only excelled at athletics, he's an Australian champion, will probably go to the Olympics. Um, and, um, but he, his academic journey, yeah. His results. And he built, you know, so we were able to contribute to another family and to another person. Yeah. And now we've got another young man who's doing it. And now Lucy and I have recently been talking about donating portions of her art yes. um, to the Wolford program for a Wonderful. young girl yeah. who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford to go to the school to be able to go on a full art scholarship. So, you know, and I think this is, these these things are not to, not to say how amazing we are. Is I think everyone 
everyone has an obligation to do so. And mm. one thing I'm finding is that we don't talk about this a lot, but now in, in the circle of friends that we do, it's inspiring our friends to then contribute. And yeah. it's such a beautiful experience to be around. And, you know, and, and look, we can afford to, right? That's the reason why as well. And I understand a lot of people can't, but everyone can afford to give up their time. You yeah. know? And you know, I have a, a corporate social responsibility program where we allow one person every 12 week cycle who can't, who can demonstrate to us by means testing that they can't afford to work in one of our programs and we let them in free. And you know, two of those are now my one-on-one -on -one clients. Like, that yeah. was the journey from three years ago. These were people who couldn't afford to, to even pay yeah. a few thousand dollars for a session yeah. are now you know, paying seven, eight thousand dollars a month. Yeah. That's not through their sheer loyalty and the love and admiration that we've created for one another, it is because they put in the work. Mm. They got given an opportunity and that's what I love. I love seeing people take their chances and own them. Yeah. Right? And I think that's, you know, I'm actually really inspired while I'm saying this because that's what motivates me. That's what yeah. really truly drives me. It's something mm. that fuels every cell in my body and it stems from yeah. the giving. And I've seen you then completely back that person mm. support them and back them because that's oh, what you're really me, if they show me yeah people show me courage yeah and they show me and not just me the team i'll give you everything i got yeah right and and <laughs> i was saying to to your amazing husband harvey <laughs> if i if i could if i could do my job for free yeah like if i won that powerball yeah I'd do my job for free.